Welcome to Internet Quality Academy. The channel is for the quality control engineer, site engineer, and the civil engineer who are working in the construction field. In this channel, we are dealing with anything and everything which is required to get success in the construction. Today also, I'm going to discuss about a very, very important topic that every civil engineer should know. That is how to do the mixed design for the self-compacting concrete as per IS 10262-2009. In this video, I will break it down step-by-step -step process which is required to do the mix design so stay tuned until then to get the full information about the self-compacting concrete mix design and if you are new on my channel kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will get immediate notification so without wasting time let's jump into the subject that is self-compacting concrete mix design as per is 10262-2009 and this is my request do not skip any steps of or any stage of this video because every step is important and you need to know each and every step that is why stay tuned until the end and watch the full video so you will get the full information so let's jump self-compacting concrete mix design as per 10262-2009 this is our indian code and the guideline provided we need to follow whenever we are doing mix design for the self-compacting concrete and what is self-compacting concrete what is the characteristics uh, so i have made a detailed video on that please click in the link or in the description you will get full information about the what is self-compacting concrete and what is the characteristics so if want to you do not watch that one please watch and then come to then it will be easy for you to understand how to do the mix design let's start the first things what we need to know that is what is my grade of concrete that means what is my strength that is here we are considering m30 what is m m stand for mix and 30 stand for strength in 28 days of 150 mm cube that should be minimum 30 if it is satisfied then we can say that this grade of concrete is referred to m30 so here it is our m30 grade of concrete next is what is type of cement it is very much important to understand what type of cement we are using for the grade for our mix design because different cement has a different properties and accordingly our mix design criteria has changed so water cement ratio will be changed as then everything will be changed so that is why we need to know what type of cement we are using here we are using opc 43 conforming to is 269 and what is opc 43 33 53 and what is their physical chemical compositions i have made detailed video please click in the link or in the description you will get full information please watch that one so that you will easily understand what is the different types of ordinary portland cement as per is 269 so grid of concrete is m30 and type of cement is opc 43 269 conforming and what is the maximum size of aggregate that is 20 m. why it is important because depending upon the aggregate size that is the water absorption capacity water porosity of air voids that all are changes so that is why we need to know what is the maximum size of aggregate in order to calculate the air content water absorption everything so here we are considering the maximum size of aggregate is 20 mm the next part is exposure condition as per table 3 and table 5 now what is exposure condition exposure condition is that your concrete how it is exposed to the surf uh, environment and what is the environment condition surrounding the concrete that is the exposure condition and in our is 456 it has clearly mentioned that what will be your exposure condition and accordingly how you can check your mix design here in the table 3 it is saying the environmental exposure condition in is 456 so what is condition mild moderate severe very severe and extreme so it is considered in the five categories mild moderate severe very severe and extreme what that mild is you can understand from the terminology itself concrete surface is protected against weather or aggressive condition that means it is protected moderate it is exposed from or sheltered from severe rain and freezing condition exposed to the condition and rain so it is somehow exposed but it is already con controlled when severe severe is concrete surface exposed to severe rain alternate wetting and drying he, here it is a condition is little bit extreme so rain and severe condensation also is taking place so if my concrete area or my project area is 
belongs to this category. So I have to select whenever we are selecting the mixed design, that should be the severe condition. And what is very severe? That means concrete surface exposed to seawater spray, corrosive fumes, severe freezing condition. So if this is, then it could be a very severe condition. And then it is coming to the extreme condition, surface of members in tidal zone and direct contact with liquid, solid and aggressive chemicals. So if this is our case, then it will be extreme condition. So for our design purpose, we are considering that the condi exposure condition is severe. Now, what will happen in table five, Let's jump into the table 5 of IS-456. Here it is saying minimum cement content, maximum water cement ratio and minimum grade of concrete for different exposure with normal water weight uh, aggregates of 20 mm nominal maximum size. So here it is also mentioned the 20 mm. If it is not 20 mm, then correction to be made. But in our case, we are considering 20 mm. And for our case, what is the exposure condition? Severe. And here it is PCC for PCC and it is for RCC. In C, uh, RCC, you can see the minimum grade of concrete is M30. So if my exposure condition is severe, I cannot use M25. I need to use minimum is M30. And what will be the maximum water cement ratio? That is 0.45. So here we are selecting that maximum cement is water cement ratio could be 0.5 above that it is not possible so from table 3 we will find out what is my severe condition what is my exposure condition and from that we can find out in from table 5 what is the maximum water cement ratio and what is the minimum grade of concrete now we have already selected that my maximum water cement ratio is 0.45 and uh, my minimum grade of M30 as we are doing here M30 itself. So my condition is satisfied. Now we need to satisfy this condition also that water cement ratio is 0.5. It should not go beyond 0.45. Now, what is the characteristics of uh, self-compacting concrete? There are four characteristics. This sum flow class, passing ability by L-box text, V-funnel and sieve aggregation resistance. So what are all these things meanings? I have made this little video. Please click in the link or in the description, you will get full information about this. And it is my rec recommendation, please watch this one. So you will understand what is sum flow, what is passing ability, what is V-funnel and what is sieve aggregation. Then it will be very easy for you to understand uh, what class of cement or what class of aggregate or what class of SCC to be finalized here. What we are considering our sum flow class is SF3. That means sum flow should be 760 to 850 mm. Passing ability, we are considering 0.9. Here it is, yes, maximum should be point, sorry, minimum should be 0.8. V-funnel test is, uh, a V-funnel is class V1, that is, it is mean less than 8 seconds. And if it is more than 8 to 25, that is considered is class V2. But here we are considering V1. And sieve segregation ratio, we are considering less than 15%, which is SR1. So, Whenever we are doing mixed design, after doing the trial, we need to satisfy all these criteria. That means we need to satisfy the sum flow. We need to ratio. We need to satisfy the ratio of S2, H2 by H1. That is my passing ability. That we need to satisfy the viscosity, and we need to satisfy the segregation resistance. So these are the characteristics we need to satisfy. Now, next part is degree of site control that means how whenever we are doing the actual performance of the concrete what will be my uh, quality control it will be uh, very good good or poor so accordingly my de standard deviation and my division will be changed so here we are considering that degree of site control is good the next part is what will be the type of aggregate? Now, we have already considered what is the maximum size of aggregate, that is 20 mm. But what will be the shape? That is also, we need to know why. Again, the water absorption, air void, that should be calculated on that. Here, we are saying crushed angular aggregate, which is widely used. And all the cases, we are using this crushed angular ag aggregate in the maximum case. So, next part is... Uh, maximum cement content. Now, what will be the maximum cement content? 450 kg per cubic meter. So, code has given the guideline also that we cannot increase the cement content as per our wish because if we increase the cement content, what will happen? The heat of hydration will be more and there will be a prone to thermal crack. So, code has given the Limit. What is the limit? In clause 8.2.4.2 of IS 456, 
what it is saying cement content not including fly ash and ggbs mm -hmm. that means it is not considering fly ash and ggbs only the cement should not exceed 450 kg per cubic meter so we need to satisfy these criteria also that my cement content should not go beyond 450 kgs now what we need to do the next steps that is chemical admixtures type here in the Self-compacting concrete, we need to use superplasticizer as well as viscosity modifying agent or the VMA type admixture to increase the thixotropic effect and everything. So what that one, I made a same detailed video, click in the link and the description, you will find full information and you need to know what type of viscosity you want to, that accordingly we need to place our viscosity modifying agent. So in normal cases, normal uh, condition, we are using only pl plasticizer, but whenever we are dealing with SCC, that viscosity modifying agent also we need to place whenever we are doing the SCC mix design. So these are the chemical admixture type. Then it is coming mineral admixture. What is the mineral admixture? So mineral admixture we are using here, fly ash conforming to IS3812. So what is fly ash, how it is produced and what is the physical and chemical properties and what are the different types of fly ash? I have made a detailed video. Please check in the link or in the description. You will get full information. I, it's my recommendation. Please watch that one so you can easily understand why fly ash is important for the mixed design. But here in the mixed design, we are considering that fly ash should be IS3812. Next part is specific gravity of raw material. It is very much important to know what is the specific gravity of each and every raw material we are using inside the concrete. Why it is to um, calculate the volume, calculate the weight of the ingredients. So in, uh, we, whenever we are doing mix, we need to calculate each and every component. So that is why the specific gravity is more important. Here we are using cement is 3.15, fly ash is 2.22, coarse aggregate in SSD 2.74. Now what is SSD? SSD is surface saturation dry condition. What does it mean? It means whatever the pores or the voids inside the aggregate, it is completely filled by the water. But the surface of the aggregate is completely dry. That condition is called the SSD condition. Why you need to know why SSD condition? Because in SSD condition, neither this aggregate release the water to the mix or it is um, absorb the water from the mix that is the ideal condition that is why we don't need to correction for the moisture in order to present the water inside the coarse aggregate or the fine aggregate so here we are considering the ssd condition that is 2.74 fine aggregate 2.65 and chemical admixture that is 1.08 so we will find out how we can calculate in the next course when you are calculating the um, percentage of the mix Next, what is the water absorption? See, a coarse aggregate and fine aggregate has the capacity to hold the water. So what will be the coarse aggregate? That will be 0.5 and what will be the fine aggregate? That will be 1%. So it is very much important to know what is my water absorption capacity of the coarse aggregate and the fine aggregate. The next is free of the surface moisture condition. As we already discussed that it is in the SSD, that means neither it will absorb water nor will it release the water. So it is coarse aggregate is nil and the fine aggregate is nil. So here we are already considering that there will be no free moisture. If there is free moisture, we need to uh, correct the water content in the mix. The next part is coming what is that is a uh, sieb analysis why sieb analysis is important because see we are saying that my coarse aggregate is my maximum size of aggregate 20 mm now if you are using only 20 mm what will happen the air voids will not fill that is why we need 20 mm 12.5 10 to 4.75 2.35 in the proper mix proportion so that the minimum void will be there and there will be a homogeneous mix so that will be a compacted one that is why the coarse aggregate or fine aggregate sieb analysis is very much important so whenever we are getting the coarse aggregate and the fine aggregate at the project or the side first we need to do the sieb analysis and what is the criteria criteria is mentioned in table 7 in is3834 coarse aggregate and table 9 in IS4383 for the fine aggregate. In the coarse aggregate, you can see 
we are considering 20 mm but in reality we are always mixing 20 10 or 6.5 in together why we need to be a well graded mix see here is also mixing person what one to 50 50 so all percentages mentioning here and according to your project requirement you need to mix that one and again we need to satisfy these criteria what is this criteria here it is a single size but we are using the graded size so my maximum size is 20 mm so these criteria has to satisfy so whenever we are getting any type of aggregate at the side we need to first do the seam analysis to ensure that this criteria is satisfying so whatever we need to do we need to do the seam analysis and we need to satisfy for the course aggregate this criteria in our cases in 20 mm is it satisfying or not if satisfying we are saying this aggregate is as per our requirement and for the fine aggregate, fine aggregate, there are four zones as per IS383. That is zone 1, zone 2, zone 3, zone 4. And what is grading zone of the sand and how it is impacted in the mixed design? I have made a detailed video on that. Please click in the link or in the description. You will get full information about that. Here you see the ISC designation is 10, 4.7, 2.36, is like that. And if we are doing the seam analysis for the fine aggregate, my criteria has to satisfy these because we are considering the zone two. That means this grade has to satisfy. That means in 10 mm, 100% to be passing. 4.75 is 90 to 100, 2.36 is 75 to 100, 1.180 to 55 to 90, 600 to 35 to 59, and 308 to 30, and 115 to 0 to 10. So we are saying that my zoom uh, grading of zone is like two and this criteria is satisfying so we have already satisfying the criteria for the course aggregate and the fine aggregate as per the requirement of is 383 now we have selected the sieve analysis and we have selected the course aggregate and the fine aggregate now what we need to know what do you need to know the target stain what is target stain that is also described in the is 10262 let's see what is 10262 saying now that is saying in order that not more than the specified proportion of the test result are likely to fall below the characteristic stain what is the characteristic stain for my case it is 30 mm sorry 30 newton per millimeter square or 30 mpa the concrete mix has to be proportioned for higher target bean compressive stain that is fck so that means the code has given that provision that if it is my grade of concrete we need to uh, proportion or we need to design for the higher gate but what will be that higher gate that also they have given with the following relation fck is fck plus 1.65 into s then fck is equal to fck plus x whichever is higher that means we need to consider whatever the condition is that we higher value we have to take so fck we all know that 30 s is the standard deviation that we need to know if you have the uh, data for the standard deviation for minimum 30 samples you can use that one if not what is saying in there in the table 2 and x also is a factor based on the grade of concrete as per table 1 see let's see here it is table 1 value of x in our case is m30 that means it is 6.5 and a standard deviation for m30 that is 5 now we need to calculate based on this formula and we need to find out what will be my target strength for the grade of concrete m30 see here we are saying m30 already we discussed from this table 30 plus 1.65 into 5 that is 38.25 and for fck plus x is equal to 6.5 oh here sorry it is 30 I'm sorry it is 30 so 30 plus 6.5 is 36.5 so here it's a higher one is 38.25 so we need to consider our target strength is 38.25 so clear now next part we have to find out our water cement ratio or, or we need to know what is that one so but approximate air content that also we need to know according to the criteria mentioned in is 1062 in the table 3 
that is what will be the maximum air content for the 20 mm aggregate that is one percent why you are taking this one because whenever we are calculating the mix proportion we need to know the air content so air content percentage we need to reduce from the mix so that is why we need to know what is the maximum wear content here it is we are saying that is the one percent is the maximum air content now we need to know the water cement ratio what is my target strength already saying 38.25 now against this what will be my water cement ratio that we need to calculate this is a very important and a vital part for any mix design that we need to know what is my water cement ratio now here you can see the free water cement ratio let's go to the is code itself so then it will be easy for you people to understand what is my how to calculate the water cement ratio here see here you can say there are three curve curve one curve two curve three and here it is 28 days compressive strength and here it is a free water cement ratio now three curve why three curve three curve is representing curve one for 33 grade curve two for 43 grade and curve three for 53 grade opc now if you are using not opc maybe ppc or psc then it is saying curve to maybe utilize okay so for if it is 33 grade curve 1 43 grade opc curve 2 and opc 43 curve 3 and if it is a ppc and psc and other cement then curve 2 has to um, check now <clears throat> my carpet strength is 38.2 so somewhere it is like this now we need to calculate from this curve 2 so if we come like this it will come here it is coming around 4 minus let's say 0. 0.42 so we are getting our water cement ratio from the table uh, figure one that is 4.1.3 that is 0. 0.45 0. 0.42 and it is less than 0. 0.45 why it is less than 0.5 as you remember from is 456 and table 3 and table 4.5 we are find out the maximum water cement ratio can be 0. 0.545 but in our case we are getting 0. 0.42 which means it is satisfying the criteria as mentioned in the is 456 so my, my we are getting 0. 0.42 is a water cement ratio so the next part is selection of water content. Now we need to know what is the water content to be in the mix. How we can select? See here in IS10262 clause 8.3, it is saying that water content between 150 to 200 kg per cubic meter. So we need to play the role that it should be in between this criteria maximum is 210 and minimum is 150 now we are saying again you are using cement with sorry water with super plasticizer it is coming 190 kg per liter and what is the admixture we are using that 0.6 percent of mass uh, of cementitious material it is also mentioned in the is code that is 1.2062 that it should be uh, what will be the dose 0. 0.4 to 1 percent but where we are making it is 0. 0.6 percent and after deducting the percentage maybe 20 to 30 percent reduction of the water the maximum water is coming 190 kg so we are not doing that calculation suppose we are making two uh, taking 220 and we are get, um, reducing the water 0. 0.23 percent so we can uh, reduce that one here we are getting the ultimate uh, water is 190 kg after using the admixture so or the super plasticizer in 0.6 percent of cementitious material that means cement fly ash whatever is in together so this is my water content next part is coming what is the cement content so it is very easy i have the water cement ratio 0 0.42 and my water content is 0 0.9 190 so what will be the water water cement uh, ratio from 4 to cement content should be 452 kg so my cement content in 452 kg but what is my maximum cement uh, content that is 450 kg as per is 456 so it is violating but what is saying also that it is not including fly ash or ggbs now here in the mix we are using the fly ash now you need to consider the fly ash percentage so what will be the fly ash percentage that fly ash percentage is generally 25 to 5 percent uh, 50 percent for the total cementitious material let's consider 35 percent of fly ash use it is also mentioned in the is 10262 so what will be the fly ash constant total cement 452 is 30 
five percent that is 158 kg and what will the final cement quantity 452 minus 158 uh, that become 294 kg so here it is maximum water cement content is 450 we are using 294 that means it is satisfying the criteria of is 456 so i have got the cement i have got the flyers i have got the water cement ratio and i have got the water content so let's jump into the next part next part is admixture content so what will be the admixture doses i consider 0.6 percent mass of cementaceous material so what is total cementaceous material that is 452 kg so what will be the percentage the 452 into 6 parts 0.6 percent it become 2.74 uh, kg that per cubic meter that will be the admixture content that is admixture for the super plasticizer and if we are using viscosity modifying agent that also need to consider separately but in this mix we are not using so that is why we are calculating only the super plasticizer the next part is powder content now it is a very important for the uh, self compacting concrete that is we need to know what is the powder content percentage and it is important that you need to satisfy the criteria mentioned in the iso 10262 that what will be the maximum percentage or maximum quantity of the powder content so what is powder content powder content means the ingredient in the mix finer than 0.125 mm so where where it is mentioned that is clause 8.1 of is10262 let's see what is mentioned that powder refers to material or particle size smaller than 0.125 mm it includes this size fractions from cement mineral admixture that is fly ash or ggbs and what uh, aggregate or how, how this can be possible water is that uh, what, sorry uh, for the aggregate the fine aggregate there is some portion is finer than 0.125 millimeter so that also to be considered as a powder content in the mix so cement content uh, the fly ash or ggbs whatever micro silica whatever it we are using and whatever the percentage is coming from the fine aggregate which is finer than 0.125 mm that is also in all together to be is the powder content and water powder ratio shall be 0.85 to 1.1 by volume so that criteria we also need to satisfy whenever we are calculating the total powder and total water we will see how it can be satisfying so these are the powder content and we need to uh, consider the powder content see here typical uh, ranges of mixed constitution sufficient amount of fines preferably in the range of 400 to 600 kg so the powder content percentage should be 400 to 600 it is mentioned in the is code in clause 8.3 of is 10262 we need to satisfy this criteria and powder and water and powder ratio by volume it should be this 0.85 to 1.1 that also we need to satisfy so in our case we are considering our mix is sr1 and vn characteristics let's select the powder content is 520 kg see it is an assumption as per the requirement so what is the powder content cement quantity flash quantity plus around 10 percent of zone to sand it is coming uh, whenever we are doing the sieve analysis you will find out which percentage is be, uh, coming in below the 0 0.125 and that may be maximum 10 percent that is become the powder content so we know the cement quantity we know the flash quantity now we know don't know that that one so but we know what is the 10 percent of zone to sand but my part what are uh, what is the powder quantity we consider that is 520 and what is my cement qu plus fly ash quantity that is 452 we have already given see here it is 452 total here we can say these 68 kg should come from the zone 2 how total powder content 520 minus total cementaceous quantity that is fly ash plus cement that becomes 68 kg no now this 68 kg should come from the code zone to sand or the fine aggregate so this has to also satisfy so next part is fine aggregate quantity <clears throat> now this quantity is around 10 percent suppose we are getting this quantity after doing the sieve analysis this eight percent of total if passing uh, of the max so what is whenever see here okay coming uh, let's just show you 
C1 analysis, then you can find out what percentage is coming below the the approximate target stands here you can see for wherever the zone 2 we are using so 0.125 what percentage here we need to check what percentage in zone 2 it's belong to this grade so accordingly we need to calculate the total percentage of the fine aggregate see let's say we are getting eight percent is uh, below the 0 0.125 that means from total mass of the aggregate eight percent will contribute to the powder content and if eight percent is equal to 68 kgs then total percentage will be 845 kg per cubic meter assuming eight percent contribute to powder material so we are getting the total volume or total weight of the fine aggregate in the mix. So what we are getting, we are getting water cement ratio, water percentage, uh, fine aggregate percentage, fly ash percentage and the admixture percentage. Now we need to calculate the coarse aggregate. Coarse aggregate volume, how we can get? Here is the calculation. So total volume is one, okay? And uh, equal to if this volume is uh, coarse aggregate volume. So total volume is one um, uh, because we are considering or we are calculating for the one cubic meter of concrete for the silk compacting. So total volume is here one minus the air content. You can remember that we are considering for work, uh, wire content, then minus the volume of water, volume of cement, volume of fly ash and volume of fry aggregate, uh, fine aggregate then volume of admixture let's consider volume one is a cement uh, total mix minus one percent can you remember one percent so see it is coming 0 0.01 minus 190 is my water divided by one is specific gravity into the thousand plus two nine volume of cement 294 is my <clears throat> mix well, for the cement 294 kgs divided by 3.15 there is specific gravity into 1000 then 158 for my fly ash quantity by 2.2 is a uh, specific gravity in 1000 the same way 845 is my fine aggregate quantity divided by 2.65 is the specific gravity in 1000 then it is the admixture so what is coming 1 minus 0 0.01 0 0.99 minus 0 0.190 this plus this plus this it is coming 0.313 cubic meter. So in one cubic meter of concrete, this is my volume of coarse aggregate. That is my consideration. So next part is mass of coarse aggregate. So we are getting in the 0.313 is the volume. Now we need to convert into the mass because in the mixed design, we are always calculating in the proportion of the weight or the mass, not in the volume. So we need to convert it into the mass. So how we can convert that? Same, the specific gravity. It is coming around 8.862 kgs. Now we are getting all the ingredients, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, cement, sand, fly ash. Now we need to check whether my criteria as per the ice code, whether it is satisfying or not. Let's check one by one. Now, volume of powder content. Why we need to know volume of powder content? Because already we check that one. This volume of powder content or the ratio of water and powder content should be 0.9 to 1.1. That criteria has to be satisfied. So that is why. So how powder content? Powder content means cement plus GG, uh, here we are using fly ash, cement plus fly ash plus the powder content or the finer particle of 0.125 mm from the zone to grade of sand that is become the powder content. So what will be the volume? 294 is my uh, weight of sand divided by 3.15 into 1000 plus 155 is fly ash into 2.2 divided by 2.2 into 1000. So it is coming plus 68 kgs from where it is going. It is the 68 kgs is contributing the powder content. So if you are calculating, it is coming around 0 0.1902 cubic meter. So it is in the volume. So it will be the cubic meter. Now, what will be my water percentage? Water volume is 190 liter. Now, what will be my ratio of power, water and powder? 0 0.190 divided by 0 0.110 is 0.99. So what we see in the code, that should be 0 0.852 
1.1. Now, in our case, what we are getting? That is, we are getting 0.99. That means it is satisfying the criteria. That means ratio of water to powder in volume, not in the mass. Please, 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 very uh, careful about that because we are taking everything in the design, in the weight or the mass. But whenever we are calculating ratio to of water to powder, that should be in the volume. So that is why it is coming 0.99. So my criteria has satisfied. Now, another criteria also we need to satisfy. That is fine aggregate percentage to the total percentage. So what is code saying? Code is saying in ISO 10262 that sufficient amount already checked. That is the fine aggregate content typically 48 to 60 percent by mass of the total aggregate that criteria also we need to satisfy so what is my uh, fine aggregate percentage that is 845 kgs and 840 and total 845 code that means fine aggregate plus coarse aggregate 845 plus 862 what will be the percentage it is coming 49 percentage so to be in between 48 and 60 here it is mentioned in 8.3 so this criteria is also satisfying so now we can say that what is the water to powder ratio what is the percentage ratio of fine aggregate what is the maximum cement content what is the maximum water cement ratio Show. so that are all satisfied now we can say that my mixed proportion is like that now we need to do the trial and after trial we need to check the sum flow we need to check the uh, viscosity we need to check the v-funnel test we need to segregation ratio that we need to satisfy whether it is as per our requirement or not according to the strength and the durability so what is my final proportion for the trial that become cement 452 kgs, fine aggregate 845 kgs, coarse aggregate 8.862 kgs, water 190 kgs, admixture 2.7414 kg, fly ash 158 kg, water cement ratio 0.42, powder content uh, 520 and water powder ratio 0.99 and over fine aggregate to total aggregate ratio is 49. So these are the my final mix proportion for the self-compacting concrete for the grade of M30 as per IS 10262-2019. So let's summarize one by one what we have already covered. That first part we need to cover that what is my grade of concrete that is M30 type of cement is uh, OPC 43 maximum size of aggregate 20 mm exposure condition severe and the maximum water cement ratio 0.45 and some flow class is SF3 uh, passing ability is 0.9 V funnel is 8 second and the C balance resistance is 8 that, that means less than 15 percent after doing the trial we need to check all the tests whether these are satisfying or not so then we have to check degree of site, site control, type of aggregate, maximum water content, chem, chemical admixture type, mineral admixture, specific gravity of the material, water absorption, free surface moisture. As we are considering in the SSD condition, that is why after getting the trial mix proportion, we are not uh, adjusting or we are not correcting as per the water absorption because we are dealing with the SSD condition. If the my, my uh, water uh, coarse aggregate or fine aggregate is a moist condition, then we need to uh, correct the figure as per the requirement. So fine uh, free moisture content, sieve analysis, target strength, approx air content, water cement ratio selection, or selection of water content, cement content, fly ash content, admixture content, powder content, fine aggregate quantity, coarse aggregate volume, mass of coarse aggregate, volume of powder content, ratio of water powder, water to powder, fine aggregate percentage to total aggregate, then the mixed section of the trial. So these are the things you need to consider or you need to do whenever we are dealing with the mixed design of self-compacting concrete as per IS 10262-2009. Please follow these steps by one by one and you will be the master in the mixed design. And if you want to know anything more about quality control and the construction, please let me know. I will come with more content like this and I'm waiting for your valuable comments so that from your valuable comment, everybody will be benefited. And please like, share and subscribe my channel. And thank you once again for watching me.